This is just an intro. Intro, intro. Do ball shoot my shot like a pistol. Dribble game official. Yeah, yeah. Got all the ops straight jumping out the window. Call the mechanic, I break your bus. Nine nine strength boy, I take your lunch. If you a sub, then you one of us. Broke boy, leave you crushed. Bow. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy One Star Week for the We Are Back for another episode of the Broke Boy Road to Glory. And first and foremost, it is absolutely a joy to see you back on the channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So um, let's get into the episode. We have a very, very eventful episode for you guys today. So right now what you're seeing on your screen is some of the packs I've opened recently and by George, EA has decided to bless my account. They've just sprinkled a little bit of sauce on my pack luck and you can see on your screen, I packed an untradeable GG Winaldo. Now I have to fit him into my team. I'm thinking about selling Marcos Lorente, um, using Winaldo um, and De Jong as my two midfielders. Um, and I would just need a third midfielder, obviously, because I'm using a 4-3-3. But that's where I'm thinking. That's where I'm moving um, towards so far on this RTG. Um, but right now, right here, we have some squad battles rewards to open for you guys real quick. Um, I do think I finished gold two today or yesterday, so not too shabby. I believe you get some decent packs. We also have some pre-order packs to open, so there's a lot of things going down right now. There's a lot of potential for us to make another massive pull. Another GG Wijnaldum level pull would be absolutely amazing. I know he's a red shite, but yo, if you're going to give me a red shite, give me somebody good. So let's get into it. How the hell do I open these rewards? Let me find them. There we go. My squad battle rewards are able to be claimed right now. Gold three. What? I fell out of gold two. I swear, I was like 2,000 points clear on, on Sunday morning uh, for, for gold two. So I thought I made it, but I guess everybody's grinding out squad battles as well. I don't know what they've done to the AI this year with squad battles, but I absolutely hate it. It's not fun at all. If you play legendary, I mean, the AI will just literally spam skills, and it's just so much of a headache. Uh, to defend. It's just so mind-numbingly boring to play squad battles this year. But I digress. We're going to jump into these rewards. Was it worth it for us to play squad battles? Let's get it. What are we saying? Give me a che che cheeky Wijnaldum. I'll take a tradable one. Give me a Firmino. Give me his teammate, Salamane. What are we saying? It's going to be this guy. I don't think I've packed him yet this year. Um, I didn't think he was an 80 rated. So that was a bit surprising. We get Gwendozy. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. He's playing for Hertha. But from what I've seen with Hertha's signings, they've made a bunch of interesting signings um, in the last two transfer windows. So I think they're a team to watch. They're probably trying to make it and compete in Europe. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty admirable. I can't hate on it myself as an Everton fan. So it is what it is. There is absolutely nothing to be happy about in that pack, though. And this is going to be second pack of... The squad battles rewards. <laughs> I don't know why I kind of froze up there. But this is my second pack. Um, it's a 15k pack. Can we get a board at least? Give me something. A little something. Give me a little treat. What are we saying? It's going to be Ferran Torres. 81 rated. The new signing for Man City. But is he selling for anything? I'm not sure. We also get this guy who got a once to watch SBC yesterday. To be honest, if he was to get an inform, I would be very, very happy with it. I mean, this card looks really nice. But from what I'm hearing with the Leipzig fans or the Leipzig fans, they're not really saying he's a starter. So I'm not sure if it's worth it um, to really do the SBC. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should keep him or sell him. Throw him in the transfer list. Let's see how much uh, this guy's selling for. It's probably around this card. If I packed him two days ago before the ones to watch SBC, he wouldn't be around this card. But... It is what it is. Is there anything else in here? Maybe um, some decent chem styles. Not really. We get a contract pack. So thank you very much, EA. You are far too kind. It was absolutely a waste of time almost to play those um, to play the squad battles games. I mean, it, it was not fun. To be fair, I did get some of my D Diego Jota um, objectives done doing squad battles, but... Yo, it was not it was not worth it. Um, what is this? Edition content pack for pre-order. I don't know what the hell you get out of this. I guess we're about to find out right now, though. Uh, oh, these are probably all the kits that they promised us. Great. Fantastic. Do they quick sell? They quick. I'm thinking about just quick selling this whole thing. 
focus. I mean, Lil Mosey, Dave. I like Dave. Honestly, I like Dave. But the rest of these guys, they can get gone. I, I don't think I'm ever going to use any of these things. I, maybe I'll use the Dave. This one looks cool, but I don't know who it is. Lil Mosey, I'm not a big fan of. Um, let's see how much all these things sell for. 1,000 coins, you know what? <laughs> get gone. I don't want those things in my club. Uh, I got 30,000 coins last week. We packed some decent things from these rare gold packs. Can we get a cheeky Sizoko, a cheeky Adama Triori? I mean, that's really all I want here, yeah. I'm not being too greedy. Can you give me something? What are we saying? Jonathan Vieira. He was in my cheap beast video, but I haven't used him. Maybe that makes me a bit hypocritical. We get Felipe Anderson. He's still in West Ham. That's a big pull. This is what I'm talking about, EA. This is all I want. I think he sells for about 15K. That's not bad. He's definitely going to market. Look at that. 15.5K. I'll definitely take that. Um, This guy right here actually looks like a decent card. If he was a Prem card, he might be selling for quite a bit. We get Roy Hogson. Um, contracts. We get an engine. Bernadeski will go on the transfer list. And we're going to keep it moving and grooving. That was not a bad 25K pack at all. But you know what? If I get another Felipe Anderson, I will not be mad. I promise you. What are we saying? Give me something to write home about, please. My pen is dry. What are we saying? It is going to be Hamdala. Team of the season legend. But at this stage of the game, ain't nobody using Hamdala. Let's be real. We get Don't Freeze as well. We also get the Ajax right back. How much is Don't Freeze selling for? He is not selling for a goddamn thing. We're going to go ahead and hold on to him. Um... There's a Catalyst Chem style. I don't think anybody used these, though. I'll just hold on to that one as well. Um, I get some Stadium stuff. I guess that's a new pack filler after they got rid of Fitness. It is what it is. Uh, let me browse the SBC section real quick. I know they dropped a new SBC today. But I don't think there was anything interesting about the SBC. I think it was a bad value SBC. But let me double check real quick. These are all here yesterday we have the bail is back sbc i think this is the one that had the really bad requirements yeah so you need a wales player you need silver player quality or minimum silver all right that's fair enough six gold players two rares and you get an electron pack so safe to say we are curving that one we are dodging that one um so yeah let's move on to the team you might be wondering what team i'm using and we're still practicing with the same old team uh we got the young Lorente, Porto as our midfield, our front three are these guys right here. And the back line is the same. Um, I'm just gathering coins. I'm I'm holding on. I want to make a big signing for the weekend. League. The weekend league is coming up. We are one day closer. And I'm thinking about cheeky Sergio Ramos. I'm thinking about cheeky Bale to replace Porto in the midfield. I'm thinking about some big things. And I'm going to need to do a lot of uh, grinding, a lot of playing in order to get these things done. And best believe we will do it. But the man of the episode, the star of the show today... It's going to be none other than De Jong. He's our most expensive player. And when you look at his stats, you can understand why. He's 5 foot 11. He has a medium high work rate. He's right footed with a 4 star, 3 star combination. As you can see here, I played 19 games. The majority of them have been in rivals. I got one goal and eight assists. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, if you want more content like this, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all you guys at home. For taking the time out of your day to watch my video so we look at this card um he looks like the ideal cdm for somebody who wants some ball make or ball playing ability um out of the back um his pace is insane of course his passing and dribbling are probably going to be elite as far as defenders go when you actually look at his defending and physical stats they're not too impressive i mean the 90 stamina is great the 82 interceptions are fantastic but the rest of it is not that amazing. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump into the gameplay. We're going to see how his mix of stats translates into how he plays in-game. Let's get it. Yes. So, according to Footbin, this Dion card is going to be costing you about 90,000 coins on the PS4 market. Is he worth it? I'd have to say absolutely. I mean, given everything he provides to your team, I do think he's a great asset to bring in. We're going to break down the stats so you know exactly what to expect. So... First off, we're going to talk about his pace. He has 80 pace, and it's a very well-rounded 80 pace. He has 80 acceleration and sprint speed. In-game, this guy felt very, very quick. And as far as 
what you want out of a CDM as far as pace goes. You want somebody who can track up and down the pitch very efficiently. He could do that um, in spades. His acceleration coming out of the skill moves is very, very nice as well. And he never got beat for pace when I was countered. Overall, this guy's pace is a 9 out of 10. He is elite pace-wise as far as CDMs go. Next, we're going to talk about shooting. And there's really nothing to talk about here, to be honest. He has 64 shooting. The highlight stats here are the 73 attack positioning and 63 finishing. And just let's just be honest here. Um, If you do have the ball with him in the box, you're going to want to pass it off. You're not going to want to shoot unless it's a clear-cut opportunity. Um, This guy doesn't really have a good shot at all. There's nothing really I have to say about it. He's very unreliable outside the box as well. Overall, this guy's shooting is a 5 out of 10. He is an out-and-out -out CDM, and I wouldn't trust him in front of goal. Next, we'll talk about his passing, and this is one of the aspects where he really, really shines. If you enjoy deep line playmakers, um, this guy's going to be your guy. He has 86 vision, 90 short passing, 86 long passing, and 84 curve. And safe to say, these stats translate very effectively in game. He's able to ping over the top through balls um, very effectively. So, so therefore, if you have a lot of fast players in your team and you need a playmaker to really hit them over the top with the through ball, this guy's going to do it at an elite level. His short passing in and around the box in tight areas is also very noticeable. And this passing allows him to really be a playmaker from the back as well as be press resistant when you're being pressed. Overall, this guy's passing is a 9.5 out of 10. He's probably the best playmaking CDM you can get at this game for a decent price. Next, we'll talk about his dribbling. And once again, he is elite as far as CDMs go um, on the ball. He has 83 agility, 79 balance. And I know those stats don't look great, but if you feel him on the ball, he's, he, he feels very nice. He feels very effective at turning. Very, very press resistant is the way I would describe him. His actual dribbling stats are pure class. 87 dribbling, 88 ball control, 88 reactions. So you know what? If your opponent decides to press, this guy's going to be the guy you want to find with the ball. He's going to be able to shimmy out of trouble. He's going to be able to take a few touches to get around the defenders. He's very, very nice at doing that. And that adds an extra dimension to your ball retention abilities. He has 90 composure, which means that he doesn't feel pressure. He makes love to pressure. And overall, this guy's dribbling is a 9 out of 10. If you need a CDM that could dribble, this guy's going to be your guy. Finally, we'll be talking about his defending and physical. And this is the part of the card that kind of worried me because um, I'm used to using CDMs that could boss the midfield, that could really make their stamp on the game known. And um, based on his stats, he looks more like a finesse guy. In game, I think he actually played better than his defending and physical stats um, imply. Um, his breakup play is very, very good. He has 82 interceptions. Um, he has pretty long legs in game. He covers a lot of ground with his 80 pace. Uh, I really enjoyed that aspect of the card. His stand tackle, I thought, was way better than the stats suggested. And for comparison's sake, I'm going to compare him to Lamer, who is a card that I used um, in that position previously. So I was using Lamer, and when you look at Lamer's stats defensively and physically, they look better than DeYoung's. But in game, DeYoung has a cleaner tackle. He was very good going into a challenge. And his defensive awareness was second to none. He was always in the right place at the right time. So don't let the stats fool you. This guy's very reliable um, defensively. Physically, he was pretty solid as well. He has 90 stamina, 74 strength. But in game, I didn't really notice him getting bullied at all. Overall, this guy's defending and physical is an 8 out of 10. He is very reliable. And when you add that to all his other attributes, I think this guy's a great, great card. All right, guys, so what's the final verdict on this card? I think De Jong is a must-buy if you're running a La Liga team. I think he's the best CDM in La Liga. I also think if you got Dembele, you got Griezmann, you definitely got to bring him in. He's great for Cam. He's great for hybrids. And he's also a very, very good card in game. He has the pace, the passing and dribbling, which are all elite category um, for this card. His defending and physical are all solid as well. And overall, I got to give him a 9 out of 10. For the value for money, I think he's a great uh, buy. I think he's great for the weekend league i think you won't be disappointed by this card at all all right guys so that's gonna be my broke boy episode today hopefully you guys enjoyed it once again don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you in the next video but until then